Hi, this is Sandy Parker, and welcome to another episode of Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to do Volume 5 of our Totally Terrific Tags and Trimming, and I'm just going to do little bits of it at a time, so it might look a little bit cut up, but I wanted to make sure you saw the whole process. So I bought these Styrofoam cones at the Dollar Tree. You know I love it. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm running a piece of masking tape around the bottom, and then I'm going to run masking tape further, hopefully you can see this, further around the bottom. Woo! Flying out of my hand. What I did with it is I ripped pieces of the bottom because the bottom part of it is, uh, the, the tape is longer. Can you see that? That the tape is longer than the bottom? And then what I did with it is I just laid it on cardboard and pushed the tape down so that I have a very sturdy base and it won't come off at least the other one I did didn't come off at all and what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it red and then I'm going to be putting some um, uh, glitter all over it okay so I painted my cone with folk art red paint just your basic craft paint and it was a really old bottle so it was kind of thick but anyway I painted it with that then the next thing we're going to do is, uh, and this is another great reason for the uh, box being taped to it, I put another box lid in my garbage can because I'm going to, while the paint is still wet, we're going to cover it with red glitter. And I used a, a chunkier red glitter because uh, it's, I want it to really kind of cover and coat everything pretty well. And I wanted to make sure that my glitter looked, um, that you could see it and it, it wasn't so fine that it completely blocked out the red. Sorry, while I'm turning it, kind of tricky to turn that. And if you haven't figured out what it is yet, we're making a Santa hat. Okay, so now we've got the glitter on it, so I think what we're going to do now is wait for it to dry. I did tell you that you want your paint to be wet when you throw your glitter on it, didn't I? And I don't know if you know the trick with coffee filters, but if you put a coffee filter under your glitter when you're throwing it on there, well, that's what I do anyway. I throw it on me and everything in the room. But anyway, when I'm putting the glitter on there, I put uh, coffee filters underneath it, and they catch the, the excess glitter, and then you just dump it back into the bottle when you're done. So you don't use a ton of glitter, but this project did use more, uh, more glitter than I thought it would mainly because I think I really dumped it everywhere, but that's typical. Okay, so now we're at our next step, and this step is going to be painting the bottom. I have it in this container because the, the red glitter is still coming off of it, and um, I wanted to make sure that I caught the excess glitter. You want to make sure that you try to get in any little holes and crevices because we're going to do the same thing with the white glitter and cover this with white glitter when we're done. Oops, a little bit of a boo-boo. It's not that big a deal because you, the glitter the glitter will pretty much cover all of your big problems. Make sure. Get this little bit that I didn't get before. And then we'll glitter it. And um, so far, this craft has taken us almost no time other than waiting for everything to dry. That's the part that makes it so I have to interrupt the tape. But it is a really, so far, easy project. And I saw this project, well, one that was very similar to it, on um, Michaels, the michaels.com website. And they made mason jars that they did this with. And I bought a couple of these cones, and I thought, you know what, that would work with those cones because of their shape just like Santa's hat. And then I uh, was watching some YouTube videos and I saw a young girl do something with it that was pretty similar to this. So I got a kick out of it. So I kind of combined the techniques that she had and the techniques that Michaels had and came up with this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the coffee filter in the bottom. I'm hoping I'm not going to get much red because I did run my hands up and down on my uh, the on the red part earlier to make sure that I got as much of the excess off as I could have but you just never know and I'm going to try 
I thought this was not this big. It's chunky. Chunky glitter. It's cool looking though. I mean it really it really does look like snow on his hat. I don't know if that's what you go for, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And I'll just touch the rest of that up off camera and we'll be back with the rest. I bought this glitter um, foam sheet from Michaels and it was like $1.69 but it's well worth it because what I did is I created a little belt loop and I have it on this uh, 5 8 inch ribbon that I got at Michaels because since everything else was glittery they all use grow grain I think that's how you say it, grow grain ribbon and although I like that kind of ribbon for this project I really thought it it demanded something with a little bit more uh, razzle dazzle we'll call it so you can see now that my glitter at the bottom I used kind of a chunky uh, confetti like uh, glitter that I couldn't find the name on it was just one of those bottles that you get that comes in a set I think but it's really cool because it has some great texture to it so all we're going to do is we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to find a spot on the hat I'm going to do it right there I don't think I need that much though oh I want to show you that piece what I did is I measured the ribbon and put it um, put it on and turned it over the foam sheet turned it over and uh, drew my pattern out and then what I did was after I was done I used a uh, we'll call it a death blade I used one of these and I cut I cut it out of course I didn't do a good job so then I had to get my Tim Holtz scissors to finish the job but uh, the back of this is uh, got a sticky backing I didn't pull the sticky off yet but I just wanted to kind of give you the 911 on that because I think for that much money that foam sheet is well worth it because of the aggravation of trying to glue things like that down and you know all the other things that go along with it so we're just going to thread it through and I'm just going to pin mine on the back because I'm going to use um, some uh, sharpie on the black pin heads <laughs> pin head that's funny I know I'm, I'm like three years old aren't I and I get the biggest kick out of stupid things okay so I'm gonna lay it down make sure that my ends are straight or as straight as they can be and this is really nice ribbon that I got I hope you can see that and then we'll just take a pin or maybe try to take a pin that's another thing it's hard to pick up when your fingers aren't straight ah the woes huh they, they work that's all that matters and then get the other one and I'll put that one in on the other side and then we'll just cut off our excess ribbon and there we go a really cute Santa Claus hat that was very inexpensive and um, once you have the supplies you know th there's five yards of ribbon I'm gonna pull that closer in the back when I'm done um, the uh, five yards of ribbon so that'll go a really long way and then you have this whole sheet so really your investment is minimal if you already have glitter and uh, paint so I think it's a terrific project I think you could have your kids help you with it and I did try some of these things um, with only one hand because we have some viewers that asked me if you could do these projects with um, one hand or another and and uh, I think you could because of the way I taped it down at the beginning if you really watch how I taped that to the box that made it so that the box became my second hand and then when I started to paint I didn't have to hold the box I just painted it and then when I did the ribbon um, or the excuse me the belt, belt buckle all I did was uh, put the hold the foam mat down with something heavy and I use the the death blade as I told you the exacto knife and uh, cut it so I do think you could do it do it um, with 
if you only were using one hand. Then the other thing that I like to tell you because I had uh, I have another viewer that likes to know how to break up projects if you're not feeling really well. And I think this project especially is perfect for when you don't feel really well because if you didn't feel really well, you could just tape the bottom and that would be all for that day. And then the next step would be you'd paint the red and put the glitter on it. Remember, you're putting the glitter on when the paint is wet. Then the next step is after that dries, you do the white paint and then you put the glitter on that while it's wet. Then the very last step is the belt, and you, that's a pretty simple technique, and I think it's so, so cute, and I'm glad Michaels did a mason jar like this, and I'm glad that I saw it and thought, well, I didn't really know what I was going to do with these cones, because originally I thought I'd make a tree out of them, but... Um, I saw too many trees that looked too hard, and I did try, I bought a cone, no, a wreath, and I am going to uh, do a really small wreath for us, but I tried doing it with the the, the flowers, the just uh, punched out flowers and um, different colored um, pin heads on my straight pins, but that was not that fun. Then I thought about doing just buttons, but if you can see the button on this one, I only have the pearl in one hole, and it looks kind of bad in just one hole. So then you're talking multiple pins, and so this project becomes much too big. So I'm going to come up with something else to do with that. But uh, So this is volume 5 of our totally terrific tags and trimmings, and this, of course, is trimming. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I love to hear from anybody, so if you have anything you'd like to see me do, I am going to be doing a project with my Misty. That's the next thing we're going to be doing. And then I'm going to be going to uh, doing a Christmas bulb. And I have a bunch of really cool ideas for Christmas bulbs, including if you have alcohol inks an alcohol ink project and I'm excited about that because I don't play with those because of the mess I make but you know it's something that we have to do it'll be lots of fun okay so the very last thing we've done is we've put a little base on it that I found at a garage sale for a quarter and we're gonna put a little pom-pom on the top with some of this three-in-one glue it's like um, hot glue only it's cold but it strings like hot glue so it's kind of nasty I haven't loved working with it so far but I'm hoping I get used to it and get better at it so there we have our little elf hat or Santa hat I hope you enjoyed this it, we really liked making it it took a while to get it in process but I think it turned out really cute so thanks for watching and please stay tuned we've got more great ornaments and tags coming up Oh, please give me a thumbs up. There's the thumb. And subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.